CEO or the owner came out and said that they make 10 million pizzas a year. For sure. No, but think about that. 10 million pizzas. I mean, I have like Wait, 25 no. in my fridge right now. Okay. My freezer. Okay. Guys, I'll say everyone else has 25. Keep this math going because I really want to see where you go with this. I'm not No, do the math. Keep going. Okay. Keep, Keep I want, do this off the top of my head. Do it. Come on, let's do it. Okay, so say there's 100 houses. Where? I don't know. Okay, 100 houses. Keep going. You got 25 pizzas. What is that? 2,000? No, don't. No, don't. Just be confident. Keep going. And, but that's in one town. So that's 2,500 pizzas in one town. Okay, then how many towns? Keep going. Keep the math rolling. See, I, I'm not good at that. How many towns are in Wisconsin? Thousands, Kyle. No, don't look it up. All right, Kyle, we are back for another episode of Shot of Wisco podcast. It's actually number 46. What's the date today? October. Kyle, how the hell are you? Not too bad. Been busy. Busy. No, you haven't. Busy buzzing. What have you been doing? (laughs) Work in church, baby. Trucking. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, the fact that we are adults, grown adults. I mean, I'm I, I'm obviously a dad, so I'm way more of an adult than Kyle. But Kyle has lately, with his girlfriend, been playing uh, Snow Runner. Snow Runner, which is a game on a PC or PlayStation, I guess, that you go around and you you go trucking. And his he's playing it with his girlfriend. Basically, truck simulator. Truck simulator. So I mean, good for you. Uh, happy for you. It's great for you. Uh, congrats. Mm, bravo put her there mm-hmm. yeah so big um, rigging big rigging so uh you know not much been changed in my life other than work and have a little baby at home and it's hunting season so i am not i'm just gonna be all over the place for a little bit also for people not know i mean this would have been a great moment to where our retail line kyle is show kyle Ooh, look at that i do have a hat on um a leather patch hat wisconsin clothing co we just released it last week. Yep, last week. It's been a hell of a couple of weeks trying to get ready for this. We're super excited about it. Um, our team worked really, really hard on the design. We hope everyone enjoys it. Uh, from Wisconsin Clothing Company, you guys. If you guys want to check it out, WisconsinClothingCo.com. Check us out. Shop local. If you're from Wisconsin, wear Wisconsin gear. All right. Um, so do we want to head into the intro and then blast us off. Blast us off. Yeah. Hell yeah. And we are back. All right. So, Kyle, first and foremost, I mean, 46 episodes, we're almost to 50. We really have to figure out what the hell we are going to do when we get to 50. What's that, four weeks? Four weeks puts us into November, probably right around deer season, right? Oh. What if we did a podcast from the, from the stand? That'd be good. We'd be talking like this the whole time. I mean, that'd be ASMR vibes. I mean, we're, we're not going to do it. Let's no. be honest. That's way too much work. No. Uh, but I do think we got to dress up in orange, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to do something cool with, with gun season. Mm. Um, <laughs> sit, here <with laughs> sit here with our rifle. <laughs> Welcome to deer camp. Uh, uh, yeah. Or we just know. have like a powwow. We go live, drink, mm-hmm. do it like on a Friday. Maybe vibe, sure. something like that. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anywho, we appreciate everyone for listening, watching us on TikTok. Um, it's been quite the ride so far. 46 episodes. That's crazy. So what's uh, what's on the dock? First off, what did we do last weekend? What did you do? Last weekend, went to the football game. Me and you went to the football yep. game. Yep. But monsoon was a very bad it was idea. It fucking raining. Yep. Um, Saturday, what did I do on Saturday? I, oh, I laid floor. Mm-hmm. Mid floor at my uh, girlfriend's uh, blah, 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 family's Parents, house, yep. in-laws' house. Future um, in-laws for you. My fucking legs yeah. are sore. Yeah. Uh, nothing Nothing tells you that you're getting old than when you do just like a normal job uh-huh. and your body just aches. Mm-hmm. Like, um, we're upstairs right now of our Keeler location, so all our retail had to come up these, what? Is that a flight and a half of stairs? Yeah. Flight of stairs? Yeah. And... Uh, I did it. Let's just say core was, core was a hurting unit. Also, yeah. news, I, I told you, I had gout. Yeah. What the fuck's that all about? Is it like, gone now? I mean, I'm still on steroids. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we were um, Friday, my toes started hurting. Thought it maybe it was just because I was overworking myself. Saturday, woke up throbbing. I was like, what in the hell? So I went to cute care. Went there, and the guy's like, man, you got G-O-U-T, pal. And I'm like, that's not just old people? Mm. He's like, no, and it actually those. happens to a lot of people. Well, he's, And he said it could have been like turf toe. 
it's like hard to like tell yeah. tell but yeah it hurt i was hurting over the weekend tia went up to madison for the uh badger iowa game um so i was at home with witten with gout so i was at Thank home God with witten like tickets or something that would i was suck. at home with witten with gout watching the badgers suck, suck it up uh, while my wife was out drinking in Madison in all Iowa gear. So, you know, really good Saturday for core. Um, followed up by Sunday, didn't do much. So I'm actually going on almost two weeks of not getting drunk. Mm-hmm. It's a weird feeling. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if I'm digging it. Had a couple of drinks I, Saturday night. Yeah, I mean, I had a crown last night. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, so what's up this weekend? Putting my, like, outside shit away in my garage, reorganizing my garage. You know what? The more and more I hear us talk, we're not that interesting. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you think about it, like, what are you up to? What did we do last week? Uh, no, nah, nothing. What are you doing this week? Mm. You know, putting away furniture. Um, hanging out. Hanging out. Making some chili. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Might clean the windows. <laughs> 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 that might be our big... Might head to Menards. Um, I don't know, but... Yeah, so I don't got much this weekend. Um, I'm gonna hunt probably the whole time. I was so. gonna say you hunting this weekend. Yeah, um, got a new Go- GoPro that's at my house, Ooh. ready to rock. So I'm excited. Uh, even though you can't see it on my face right now, I'm excited. <laughs> um, so we're gonna dive in. Kyle's got we got what three things of news. You weren't prepared at all. A little pip squeak. I mean, what the hell are you doing? Forgot your iPad. Forgot my iPad. Stormed out of my house this morning. Got to work. Mm-hmm. Then realized I didn't have it. Forgot my fucking headphones. Absolutely unacceptable. I mean, you don't have your headphones on at all. No, mine are dead. But so I don't need go. headphones to be. There ju- I don't, we go. I don't need headphones to be the host of the show, Kyle. That's true. I did bring my iPad. I wrote my notes. Um, honestly, I think that this might be better for you because you do suck with notes. <laughs> right, Brendan? He he does suck with <laughs> notes. Um, so it is what it is. We're gonna dive in, Kyle. You got first news. Hit, let's hit it up, buddy. All with right. your with your notepad. Big local news. Wee wee wee. Sorry, not local news. Wisconsin news. Okay, uh, that's hot, local. Hot off the press eight hours yeah, ago. Okay. Watertown, Wisconsin. Officers called the location for a property damage. Located a man with a weapon. He had turned to the police with his weapon out and was shot twice. Um, man died on scene. Police officers tried Wait, to... Wait, so a guy uh, shot? No, no. He turned at with... He had the handgun, gun, whatever. I don't know what it he was. He shot was. himself? No, no. Turned and pointed at them, and they shot him, thinking that they were gonna, he was going to shoot him. So they sh- so the cop shot him. Yeah, Oof. shot twice. I don't know if it was the same police officer or one. I will say, um, obviously, that's terrible news. Um, but I will say, Watertown is a pretty cool area. Lot to do in Watertown. Yeah, oh, for sure. Maybe I've been there. No, wa- yeah, Watertown's a really cool spot. Very underrated for Wisconsin. But yeah, um, I will say, out of the shoot, probably shouldn't point guns at cops. That no, usually that's... is the way to die. Yeah, normally put them on the ground. Yeah. Um, Should be what property damage town. was it? I don't know. It didn't really say in the thing. Oh. But, yeah, they just came there for what they thought was a property damage. And R.I.P. Um, less than, guy hey, a, can't be, can't uh, be pointing uh, weapons no. at, at people, especially cops, because they have weapons, too. All right. Um, is that all you got? Yeah, I mean, the police were placed on leave. No, no names are given. It's all under investigation. Yeah, that happens with everything now. Yeah, you go on leave, whether you're goes, gu- it's yeah. guilty or you did everything by protocol. It's just the world we live in. So, all right. Next thing up, bottleless water dispenser. Wait, why am I here? <laughs> okay, so bottleless water. A bottleless water dispenser was named the coolest thing made in Wisconsin this year. So, Plexus Corporation in Appleton, Wisconsin, made a water dispenser that basically will. They said the estimates that it will take out 400 million single-use plastic bottles. So and it was voted. Is this like the? Is this like that like water fountain thing that you put drinks with that? Yeah. Is that what it is? Like yeah. That? Yeah. It's this like. This is a machine, I'm assuming. It kind of looks. Yeah, yeah, Yep. So, and I'm pretty sure there's like ways you could do like sparkling or oh, carbonated, yeah, I'm whatever. you got to pay for it. Like a- yeah. So, I mean, great idea. Cool. Save a lot of the world. But, I mean, do they understand that beer gets made in Wisconsin? Mm-hmm. That should be voted number one every year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they understand tombstone pizzas? They're from Wisconsin. I mean, let's let's start racking cheese heads. I mean, let's let's really dive in here. Cheese curds. I mean, I just feel yeah. like that should, those should be one, two, three every year. Yesterday, I was talking to my coworker. He Vortex is in Wisconsin. I'm a hunter, so that should be you know best scopes in the game. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday, I was talking to my coworker, and he said something funny. 
said, we always go to bars, and they always ask if I want that menu. And I said, fuck no. Just order me the cheese curds, because everywhere in this fucking state. Got the best cheese curds. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. But hey, bottleless dispenser. Hey, a little clap for me and Kyle. To Plexus Corp in Appleton, Wisconsin. Great idea. Saving the world. Love to see it. Love to see it. Yep. Yep. What do we got, Kyle? Next up on the list, Sheboygan man charged with fatal pedestrian crash. The man apparently hit, I'm assuming, a car with a four-year-old in it and it killed the four-year-old. Oh, man. Um, the man's name, Nathan Heitzman. Apparently, after that, he went to the memorial, bail jumped, and stole the, a cross off the memorial. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Now he's getting... He bail jumped, and he went in disrespect. That's pretty awful. Then now he's getting um, some sort of theft and manslaughter. Hey, here him. we go. Where is he going? The slammer. The slammer. Um, that's that's awful. I mean, yeah. I have a little and baby boy, so there I mean, was there was some shit that he was saying on there, like they were asking him where it went because someone had seen him stealing it, and he said, "Must have grew legs and walked away." And I'm like, this guy's a fucking dick, weed. Yeah, um, absolute shitty person. Um, that's you just hate to see it. So where's that Sheboygan? Sheboygan. Man, that sucks. But hey, what do you do? I mean, if I'm like the father or the mom, and you see him taking the cross, I'm going to throw some fist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, For that's sure. just so disrespectful For sure. on all on all fronts. Yeah. So he hit that car. I I think he hit. I think he hit a car. It could have been walking. See, the, I thought the, the that you the kid could have been walking, and he hit him on accident or something. But yeah. what what makes you go there and do that? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You be, you belong in jail. Mm-hmm. So see you later, pal. Um, Nathan Heitzman. Yeah. See you later, pal. Do better, buddy. Do better. Do fucking better, mm-hmm. man. Um. All right. Well, so we've been talking about the the Brewers Stadium for quite some time, Kyle. Yep. About there are some needed renovations yeah. that they need to be doing to keep the Brewers in Milwaukee. And I've said this multiple times. If the Brewers leave Milwaukee, um, I will never watch baseball again. Yeah, I'm done. That's, that's just straight fact. Um, I mean, I'll still cheer against the Cubs. That's just a known, a known thing. I'm not going to cheer for another team. I'll probably cheer for, like, Madison Mallards. Um, what are the other teams we got? Timber Rattlers or Ap- Utter Tuggers. Yeah, Utter Tuggers. Um, the Milkman, I believe, is in Milwaukee. So there's other teams to cheer for in, in Wisconsin, but I'm done with baseball if they leave. But anywho, so the Wisconsin Assembly approves a 545 sorry, I'm dyslexic million dollar uh, project that's public dollars for the stadium to cover repairs. Apparently, it's going to be coming coming in a form of grants. The Brewers will be contributing $100 million if this passes or follows mm-hmm. through. Um, I wonder how that looks for, like, the taxpayer in that county. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's a hefty chunk of change. Mm-hmm. But also, to keep the Brewers, I mean, I'd pay anything. Yeah. I mean, I'll give you what's in my pocket right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's... What do you, I want to I know what every, every Brewers fan thinks on, on TikTok and what you guys think about uh, this and what we got to do to keep the Milwaukee Brewers in Wisconsin. If I can't go tailgate another game, if I can't go have uh, an, an expensive Miller Lite tall boy mm-hmm. at a Brewer game watching those dogs race, I don't know what I'm going to do with life. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be in a very what's depressed, life worth very, yeah, what's life worth if I can't do that? If I can't watch Bernie go down that slide, what is life worth? It's a damn shame. Damn shame. But hey, they proved it, so hopefully it goes through. Hell yeah. All right. Hmm. Next. Mine are all negative today. Uh, we James, have a negative Nancy. Janesville, Wisconsin. Man faces multiple charges after police said he fired a gun during a bar disturbance. Uh, police showed up at the bar. Mm-hmm. Disturbance of some sort, assuming a fight. Mm-hmm. Um, man got in his car, took off a couple of him and his buddies, I'm assuming, and he shot his pistol out the window. Don't know if it was at the crowd of people police officers but the police officer heard it chased the car down just a desk pop yeah chased the car down pulled the guy over guy jumped out the passenger side that's what makes me think he's riding with somebody obviously um (laughs) and then he took off running they chased him down he jumped in the river swam they lost him oh my god this is grand theft auto yeah (laughs) and then they had to get the janesville boat police boat out and chase him down they arrested him and they chased him in here obviously carlos you want to throw that on there 
Yeah. His name is Eric Heig? Heiss. Eric Heiss. Eric Heiss. Eric Heiss. So here's the thing, Eric. Once you dive in that river and they get that boat, you're done. You're done for. Mm-hmm. Not I mean, much you could do. Take a little bit though. Yeah, I mean, and it's not like the warmest out right now. No, you're so fucking cold. you're cold. River's cold. This was at Riley's Sports Bar and Grill. Do you think that he, before he left his house, thought this is what's going to happen to me tonight? I mean, that's quite, quite an adventure. Well, apparently he was he was carrying because he had a holster too. I'd read, mm-hmm. so he was he must have been carrying, which I believe is illegal if you're drinking and. You're drinking. Don't know the law. Maybe. Probably. I mean, it sounds right. You can't carry a weapon. Sure. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you got to be a little smarter, smarter, pal. Um, All I'm going to say is, yes, we are in Wisconsin. You hop in a river. We have boats. Mm -hmm. You're going to get caught. I mean, but I mean, I will say you have to applaud the effort. I mean, the desk pop out of the car, probably not smart. No. So all in all, (laughs) uh, this guy could have been had a little more. I mean, I get it. Going to happy hour, you know. Yeah. Getting a couple beers, but let's just relax, pal. Yeah. Man. I don't know. What, I mean, what, what would you have done different? Not shoot my gun. Smart. Yeah. But what would also, you do? Done... If you're just taking on, well, I guess if the cops roll up because there's a fight, everyone's going to scatter like fucking mice. But I don't understand where, where the, hey, I'm going to pull my gun out the window and shoot in the mm-hmm. air for no reason. Like, yep. I got them. <laughs> they heard that. <laughs> Yep, that's uh, that's the guy that should not have a gun. What would I have done different? I mean, the water's a good idea. That's probably a good way I to mean, get away, but you got to fucking Yeah, go. you're, you hop on GTA 5. I mean, that's a clear-cut way to get away. You hop in that water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, you could have thought, probably smart, better way to do it. Probably the best way was to not shoot the gun, um, pull over, and just get caught. Mm-hmm. That's probably the smartest way. I mean, or maybe not get in the situation. Yeah. They probably yeah. would have just left. It, yeah, but hey, uh, not everyone's smart in Wisconsin, that's for sure. So that's for darn tootin' right there. Yeah. All right. Well, on to our, we're rolling through our news like mm-hmm. crazy. Kyle, this is gonna—I mean, we're at a twenty minutes right now. We a quick thirty minute. We're out of here. See you later, alligator. Let's all have a good time. <laughs> Keep her moving. After a while, crocodile. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, actually, I'll, well, I have something else we can talk about too. But all right, Green Bay business. So. It's Hanson Foods, but they're a subsidiary of AK Pizza Crust. I saw this on the news that they came out and the CEO or the owner came out and said that they make 10 million pizzas a year. For sure. No, but think about that. 10 million pizzas. Yeah, I mean, I have like no, wait, 25 no. in my fridge right now. Okay. My freezer. Okay. Yeah. It's 25. Okay, so say everyone else has 25. Okay, I don't, no, keep this math going because I really want to see where you go with this. I'm not No, do the math. Keep how, going. Okay. Keep. How, how many houses do you think there are in, say? I'm not helping you here. You do it all yourself. Tw- so you said you have 25 pizzas. Keep going. No no math. I can't I want, do this off the top of my Do head. it. Come on, let's do it. Keep going. Up, the floor is yours. Okay, so say there's 100 houses. Where? I don't know. Okay, 100 houses. Keep going. You got 25 pizzas. Mm-hmm. What is that? Two thousand. No, don't, no, don't, Kyle. Just do it in your own. Two thousand five hundred. Is that what that is? Don't look at me. Keep going with them. Keep going. Yeah. Just be confident. Keep going. And but that's in one town, so that's two thousand five hundred pizzas in one town. Okay. Then how many towns? Keep going. Keep the math rolling. See, I, I'm not good at that. Just keep going, Kyle. What? Keep trying. No, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> Kyle, just keep. keep no, 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 25 and the, and the zeros on the end of it. That's 2,500. Okay, so now how many towns? Just keep going. I just want to see how far you take okay, this. Okay, so say 10 towns. Why are we just doing 10? Because that's easy math. Okay, how many How many cities are, how many towns are in Wisconsin? A, a lot. Thousands. Thousands, how Kyle. How many? No, don't look it up. I want you just to guess. Like. Uh, Kyle, this is good for the viewers. Let's like keep her going. One thousand two hundred and fifty towns. Okay, I can't fucking do that math off the top of my head. So twenty. So in your basis, twenty five pizzas in your. If everyone is Kyle Pickle and they have twenty five pizzas in their chest freezer, hundred homes in a town, which is not accurate. That's fucking three million pizzas right there. Okay. Yeah, I mean Kyle, this was a stout observation by you. I, I'm really, and really happy. You said Ten thousand. That's in a year, though. Ten, no, ten million. Sorry, yeah, ten, you said ten million. Yeah. In a year. So if everyone, That's not that much. Oh yeah, you're right. No, you. I'm. I'm. I'm being honest. I'm with you. 
Like, I just love to watch you because, like, you're really bad at math. The but, struggle? Like, I, like, I, I, I enjoyed it. that. I really did. That actually made my day watching you try to flux, like, through the numbers. Mm -hmm. But, so, um, I guess congrats to Hanson Foods in Green Bay. How many, how many pizzas do you think a town fluctuates through in a month? How big of a town? There's a lot of questions here. So, like, pl like Platteville. Uh, Platteville, um, how many pizzas in a month? Probably, I'd say f six, seven thousand. How many pizzas do you think? Maybe ten. How Maybe ten. Many pizzas? I mean, we're diving deep here, and I love it. <laughs> Eating in Wisconsin. Plus three billion pizzas in one year. Congrats to Wisconsin. We love our our pizzas. That's, Kyle, that's that's in the. If US. we're talking frozen pizza, what's the best frozen pizzas in the game? Jack's. You think so? Yeah, that's my favorite. Mm. I mean, if I want to be high class, I'm going DiGiorno all the way. For sure. Yeah, DiGiorno's are ready-made pizzas, baby. I but I will say, time, Jack's over Tombstone. Yeah. I think, I mean, here's the thing is, look at our bodies. I mean, I could house one of those slimmy, slim, slim to none pizzas yeah. for nothing. Uh -huh. For sure. Throw a little ranch on, it's over. That pizza doesn't even see the light of day. Game over, baby. Yeah. So, um, I mean, honestly, I'm just very proud of you. Um, I wish I could get our high school math teacher in here because he'd be, I mean, honestly, very impressed with you. You did most of that without using your phone. Of course, you dove into it at the end. But... I'm very I had nice. To. There was no way I was getting Honestly, that. Hanson Foods, like if you're looking for like someone financial, like <laughs> numbers guy, just, math statistician. No, just numbers guy. Just need a numbers guy. I, I know, I know someone. So. I am your man. I guess the last thing I want to talk about um, is, did you see AJ Dillon after they played that game? Did uh -uh. we talk about this last week? Uh -uh. Um, he was on Twitch, which is I'm sure everyone knows what Twitch is. It's where like game like you, yeah. gamers go play and you could they stream yeah. and he was streaming farming simulator. Good God, no, yeah, and, and, and of course every hardcore Packer fan's like, you gotta play better, you gotta uh -huh. do, you you gotta be a better player before you can do. It's like, man, he's just gaming after. I mean, he's yeah. just, he had a cowboy hat on. Life. I thought it was awesome. Let him live his life. Yeah, he's and then he tweets. Has he it's been doing very good? He said, "I mean, dot dot dot." No. It's harvest season. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's funny. But why don't you play Farming Simulator? Yeah, I'm playing I Snow Trucker. It's pretty much somewhat the same. Nope. But you're trucking. That's farming. I, just, I, I, I used to play it on my phone all the time. Remember that? I used to play mm -hmm. in our tree stand. In the tree stand? Yeah, you got you to gotta have a game. <laughs> um, a clutch game. That'd be a good top five. Top tree stand games? Top like, things to do in a tree stand other than eat your sandwich before 9 o'clock. That's only you. You're fucking joking. <laughs> you eat ears on your walk in. I mean... No, yeah, I have a cosmic brownie when I get up there, but yeah, that's essential or zebra cakes, whatever you got. Oh, what do you got zebra cooking? Cakes. You know what? Something that's very underrated and we're very off topic. Nutter butters. I'll agree. Nutter butters that crunch, man. There's just no. no? What? Yeah, I'm, I'm a Twinkie. Put guy one too. In a so when you get your candy or cosmic brownie or whatever, like, are you a guy that just takes it off the shelf? I'm a guy that likes to throw it in the freezer. Depends what it is. Nutter butters are good in the freezer. Yeah, any Star, any candy. Star I don't care about my teeth. I, I hate Star Crunches. Love them. That's the best thing they got. Actually, Oat no, milk, it's not. Cream pie, Oat every milk, now, every cream pies are the bad. best, man. But man, man, oh man. So, Kyle, do we, what else do we want to talk about? I mean, we have we're at twenty five. I have high, high school football. Yeah, Packers come up. Jordan Love came out after the game. He had his presser. Jordan Love said um, that the game against the Raiders left a salty taste in mouth. I love to see that from our quarterback, Kyle. Hell yeah. Yeah, so who do we got this weekend? Broncos. The Broncos. On I want to see a 20-point win. I hope Broncos so. Broncos are utter trash. Mm -hmm. So Poor Russell. Poor Russell. Sorry, man. Sorry, he it's got to be this way. Sorry, it's got to be this way, man. But hopefully the Packers win uh, big. So we're going to dive into high school sports, um, high school football in Wisconsin. Uh, so – we're going to talk. We've been doing this for the past couple weeks. You guys have been enjoying it on TikTok. We're going to keep it going. But something, Kyle, what, what time is it? High school football time, baby. Playoffs. It's playoffs. It's playoffs. 
Playoffs. It is the playoffs. God dang playoffs in Wisconsin. So we have, what, seven divisions to go through. I don't have much, but we're going to talk about last week first. Week nine recap. Appleton East upsets Kakana. 41-14. Kyle, that's a shit show right there. Yeah. A shit stomping. But Appleton East taking down. Number nine, Arrowhead. Um, beat Oconomowoc, 21-7. Muskego, they lost in a burner. I don't know how this ended, but Muskego lost to Kendall Moraine. They're both number one, uh, seven to eight. So you got to think, what, Kendall Moraine won for two to win, to win the game? Mm -hmm. Electric. Mm -hmm. Anywho. Great win for Kettle Moraine. Number eight, Lancaster put the absolute breaks to Broadhead, number nine, Broadhead Judah, 44-14. Lancaster, those flying arrows just know how to play football, man. Mm -hmm. They do. Um, mm -hmm. Marshfield uh, beat Hortonville 17-7. Toma, which we've talked about Toma before. They started 0-4 in conference to start, the, or they think to start the year, they're 0-4. Um, they beat on Alaska, who's the, leading their conference, 38-13. Toma might have found, they might have got their swagger back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty cool. So we're going to dive into playoffs. So, Kyle, what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to dive through every goddamn bracket, because it, playoffs, they're big brackets. Yeah. They'll get better when they get smaller. So what we're going to do is just go through, name the number one seeds, and then what to wa watch out for. Kind of. Okay. So D1, the number one seeds is Muskego, Hudson, Hamilton, M Milwaukee, Marshville, Co-op. Never heard of them before, but they're all the number one seeds. Teams to watch out for, Kimberly and Verona. They got a little spice, you know? Really? Like, Kimberly's got a little little action. They're all, they've Verona's always been good at D1. football. What? Verona's D1. Oh, wait, Verona's that. huge, Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. Epic? Ever heard of them? Yeah. Yeah, they all go to Verona. So, D2, Wanaki, Milwaukee King, uh, Kakana, and Kettle Marine are the number ones. The, D2, I think D1's great, but D2 is probably the most loaded football bracket out of them all. Um, those four teams are all powerhouses. There's a lot of great teams in D2, so watch out for all of it. That's that's a that's the division to watch, mm -hmm. in my eyes. Number three, uh, Division Three, we have Rice Lake, Port Washington, Mount Horeb, Slash Barneville, and Monroe. Uh, very great bracket. Those All four of those teams are very good. Teams to watch out for. Toma, like I said before, they've been on a tear since they started 0-4. Uh, Medford and Notre Dame. Notre Dame, I believe, is like the two seed. Watch out for them. They're great at football. So, um, D4, we have St. Croix Central, Platteville, Hillman, uh, Lodi, and Two Rivers. Two Rivers is very good. I'm pr pretty sure Two Rivers has, I, don't, I forget his name, but one of the most electric players in Wisconsin. I believe it's a running back. I forget his name, but he was electric for four straight years. Remember I told him, mm -hmm. I think he broke the record for yards in in a career, so um, watch out for him as well. But we will be cheering for the Platteville Hillman. I mean, they're right next door to us, baby. Yep. So they go, got a new stadium. hopefully, yeah, they do. So uh, go Hillman. D five. We have Colby, Aquinas, Wittenberg, Burnhamwood, and Winnebago Lutheran. Um, those are all the number one seeds. There was a couple teams that I saw that I think could make some noise: Prairie du Chien, Southern Door, who's a two seed, and Westby. Westby has always been good at football. Mm -hmm. That's a big town, too. Big town. Good town. Nice town. Yeah. So, um, ski jump. <laughs> got the ski jump. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And the creamery. Really? Oh, no. We drive past that. Co-op creamery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Westby, baby. Let's talk about it. Um, D6. We have Grantsburg, Kiwani, Auburndale, and the Darlington Redbirds Red are the Birds. number ones. I watched Darlington play against Cuba City. They played like trash. They did win the game. But... I have noticed that Darlington's had a couple stinkers, so watch out for that. If they come out with their A game, they can play. Um, so watch out for Darlington. They've been good at football for probably ever. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure Darlington, they have like a touchdown Redbird club. Like they're serious about football. They have like a Facebook Redbird club that like parents, alumni, they're serious. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's real. So um, teams to watch out for, obviously, Lancaster, Flying Arrows. A lot of teams around here, Mineral Point, Cuba City, um, and Mondovi. Those are the teams to watch out for. Um, who do you got? Cuba City. Brendan plays for him. So Kenosha, St. Catholic, St. Joseph. So you guys are heading to Kenosha. Good luck. Hopefully you guys come out with a dub. Um, D7, I'm not going to talk about the eight-man. I just don't know enough about it. Enough about the teams. Was it Bel Belmont's in that, isn't it? Aren't they? But th did they make a playoffs? No. 
I did see uh, in the eight man that apparently like four four big city schools were number ones, but they're like a couple of like the two and three seeds are just gonna whop them. That's what I saw on like Twitter. So we'll see. But D seven. Could you imagine that? We have Boyceville, Potosi slash Cassville, Cashin, Reedsville. Teams to watch out for Pepin Alma, Blackhawk Warren. They've always been a good football mm -hmm. and banger. But I will say, I think this is Potosi's doing. They're they're a powerhouse. They're good this year. Mm -hmm. Are they still the Chieftains for football? Yeah. Potosi Even with Cassville? Cassville's the Comets, right? Yeah. But Potosi, they're a powerhouse. They kicked the absolute crap out of Cuba City this year, um, who's a couple divi or a division ahead of them. But so watch out for Potosi Chieftains. Um, they're coming for you. So Chieftains. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll watch the for the week ones of the playoffs. We'll give you an update. Let us know in the comments what teams made some noise in the playoffs, what teams to look out for that I didn't name. And let's see. Good luck to everybody. Mm -hmm. Playoffs, baby. So playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. Playoffs. So, all right. Well, Kyle, that's all I, I got, pal. Yeah, yeah. I don't have. A, I don't have a whole lot more. No. Um. So that's gonna be the show, guys. It's very, very short. Um. This week, uh, we are gonna be planning some stuff as we get closer to our fiftieth episode. Um. From us to you guys, shot of Wisco podcast. Uh, we really appreciate anyone who listens, likes our content on TikTok, likes our content on Instagram. Um, you guys are what make us do this. So, again, appreciate you guys from me, to me Kyle, Brendan, and Johnny 2x4. Johnny 2x4. Um, this is the show. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. If you haven't yet, check out Wisconsin Clothing Company for all of your holiday shopping, for all of your fall needs. We have everything from... From dive bars, bar dice, old fashions, hunting clothes, hunting clothes, um, just some comfy, comfy Wisconsin stuff. Electric we have hats. Cheat, yep, Green Bay stuff. Uh, some some jump around Camp Randall stuff. So if you haven't yet, check us out WisconsinClothingCo.com for all of your local and Wisconsin needs. Again, guys, we appreciate you. Hope everyone has a great one. Bye.